Welcome to another installment of Port with the Four. I'm Matt. I'm Maria. I'm Merg. I'm Anna. All right, guys, so this week, what's making major headlines is Victoria's Secret. The execs are coming out and they're finally saying that their persona and their image is not for transgender models or plus size models. They made huge headlines and people are outraged. So pretty much in a statement, the exec said that he is not open to having transgender or plus size models and it's not a part of their brand. And people took to Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat and were saying how they're gonna boycott uh, Victoria's Secret, how they're just done with the brand. That it's literally because that they're not inclusive of all shapes, sizes, and gender identities. So let's start off, let's start it off. Let's, how do we feel? Anna? Okay. <clears throat> I personally feel that it doesn't matter what if they were born a man, a woman. If they look better in a bikini than me, let them up there. Maria? I disagree. I think that because they don't sell products for plus size or transgender people that they don't need to include them in their fashion show. <coughs> and that's completely fine to not include everybody because a clothing brand should just be for the people they market it to. It doesn't have to be for everybody. But don't you think they would profit more off of having a plus size selection? I mean, no, because uh, like a small panty from there is already like, what, $12? Like, it's going to cost more to make more material for a larger size. And it could be too expensive for that market of people. As bad as that sounds, it's true. And I think that the brand started off for thin girls. I, I even know, like, I have family members who couldn't shop there after a certain age because their boobs were too big. They were always pissed. I feel like the issue is more the the fashion show rather than the selection. Um, I think that they just, they don't want to, like, skew their audience into a, a, an unsure of what you're looking at kind of feel. Um because when you have women walk, it's like you're going to get the women that want to see what they're going to buy and then the men that watch because they're, like, attracted to the women. But if you have, like, plus-size women, which th there's nothing wrong with that, but the transgender, you're going to lose a lot of the men that watch mm -hmm. because men aren't... Men. There are some beautiful transgender and that's women fine. out there who look better than biological women. And that's fine. So but, that's where I can't agree with you. But if you're born a man and in your head you're a woman, I believe you, that's fine. But you still have, you were still born with a man's body. So you were born with a woman's mind, man's body. So you can't deny that you'd still have a man's body. And I'm not attracted to a man's body, but I, I will believe that they feel that they're a woman. But I shouldn't, uh, they don't want to air that. They, they don't want to lose the viewers of the men that are, are not going to watch. I wouldn't, I'm probably not going to watch anyway. So, but well, there are a group of straight men who exclusively like trans women. <laughs> but how big of an uh, audience do you think that is? But you're I also doubt gaining that's, that audience as I think well. I, but you're losing, just as, like he said. Like, it, you, like honestly, if it's fair for him to say, like, as a straight man, he wants to see hateful. a woman <laughs> that he knows is a woman through and through. Like, walking, you know what I mean? That's no, fair for him to say. If you go to a bar, and then you, you end up like, having sex with a girl, and then it turns out she was a guy, that's it's like an, it, almost like a rape in a way. It's not rape, but it's like... Close to that. You just compared being transgender. No, it's lying about your sex bar to a man that you're having sex raped. with. No, because you're having sex with someone you didn't think you were having sex with. No, yeah, it is. That is very, a it's rape. False advertising. Almost it's misleading. not rape. Yeah. I'm a hundred percent for if you go up to a bar and you see a beautiful woman and she happens to be transgender, she needs to disclose that information. Of course, I'm that's all I'm saying. Hundred percent yeah. about that. But, but when it comes to the fashion industry. You sell clothes to the general public, to women of all shapes and sizes. Because if you wasn't all shapes and sizes, you wouldn't. You would have exclusively extra small, small, medium, and large. But what about the stores? They that have large and they have extra large. Only. Where is my products exactly. at Lane Bryant? Where is my products at any of these stores that for, are exclusively for plus? But size do you women? understand how hard it I is? I want their bras in my size right now. Why can't you buy clothes at maternity stores? Yep. That's that's, that's, that's sexist against women that women don't. To include yeah, but you guys are saying that transgender people cannot wear Victoria's Secret. It's not about that. It's about the, the show. It's about but I get them the walking. Plus size they don't, part of it. It's about. But them when being Maria on the stage. mentioned. Uh, Transgender people, it's not, Victoria's Secret is not made for transgender people or plus size people. 
who are we to say that transgender people don't like Victoria's Secret and they don't look, they don't look good in it? See, I think I don't think that's the issue. Imagine being a trans person, right? Uh-huh. A trans woman, uh-huh. particularly, walking into Victoria's Secret. If I were a trans woman walking into Victoria's Secret, I wouldn't want to buy anything. Then don't go Because then in my head, I know that I'm not wanted in these clothes. I don't think that's true, though. But I don't think as that's... a girl growing up, tell me I you did not think sensitive. about Victoria's Secret and you were like, one day I'm going to fit into this or one day I want to look sexy like those models. Yeah, of course. Right? But, Hold on. But the thing Stop is... right there. Yes, you did. So is how is that not fair for that trans woman to not feel the same exact way when she was little? She felt as a woman and she idolized those but Victoria's Secret models on those if, walls. If it fits her yeah, size... But well, what about that trans? He didn't say he doesn't model. want them no, wearing. The just, he just doesn't here's want the them walking on the walking show. Down the runway, the, now, this is the but that's no, discrimination. But listen, no, but listen, it's but, not. It's picking your group of saying, advertising. Yeah, he's saying so. Straight men are a huge audience for Victoria's Secret. That's undeniable. For the right? fashion show, of course. Yeah. yeah. Well, and so they buy of course they're going to walk them. down the thing, and the guy, you know, watching it is going to be like. Oh, like this one's attractive, whatever. But the announcer or the narrator of the show is going to have to advertise probably that this human being walking down the thing is a transgender because he has to, he should. I don't think so. But then people are going to get upset because, oh, why does it have to be told that they're transgender? But then people in the audience, the male audience is going to be confused and concerned that they're being, you know, You can't be confused and concerned because if you're a trans woman walking down the street, and as a man who doesn't know that she's transgender, you're going to do a double take because that girl is gorgeous, right? I don't Say, think this is the issue. theoretically speaking, right? No, it's not. It's about but, the products not being sold in Victoria's Secret, so why would you make them just for the fashion show? I think that's really Well, why just... do you need to have a disclaimer saying that this model's transgender? No, but I'm saying, so this is my this is my whole point, is like, if they made, okay, oh, we're going to include plus-size women in this fashion show, right? Then they'd have to go back to the store and sell all those products in the store because plus-size women watching the show are going to be like, oh, I want to go buy that product. It looked great on the runway. You know what I mean? That's an issue. And I feel like the transgender thing is slightly less of an issue than the plus size model because transgenders can go into Victoria's Secret and they could go buy whatever they want. But I feel like because a lot of the audience is straight males, they'd be pissed off to like Google it and be like, oh, that one was born a man and I just watched him and I'm attracted to him. Like, I'm That's not trying to watch Magic Mike. Yeah, it's, it's not about, it's not like a... So we're basically going to shield every single straight man in America it's not about from shielding. being, it's them, about them from losing being viewers. uncomfortable. <laughs> so. It's not about shielding. Let them walk. Watch the ratings drop. That's all. It's, they don't okay. want that okay. to happen. I don't think the ratings will drop. Oh my God. Like, that's because ridiculous. you do get a lot of support then from the but transgender if, community. If, if I'm gonna, but I'm saying if it's it between the, making someone transgender feel comfortable and a bunch of straight men feeling a little uncomfortable it's not about feeling forget uncomfortable. you guys it's not about feeling uncomfortable it's That's just pretty it's much so what is it why will it bother you seeing a transgender i never said i would feel uncomfortable so would you feel anything they shouldn't have to fold because people want them to they're doing a, an advertising thing where they want to appeal to straight men and women that want to buy their clothes not that they are saying you're transgender don't buy our clothes they're just saying we're appealing to that audience on this Runway show. Yeah. They're not saying don't go in our store and buy it. They're not being like, oh, you can't use our yeah. our bathroom or whatever. They're saying for this show, we're appealing to two audiences: women that want our clothes and men straight men. Men that want to get it for their women. Yeah. yeah. And they and like men that want to see it. No, yeah. And that's fine. That's I don't true. think they should have to fold just because people are so sensitive nowadays. It's the that's a terrible world to live in. There are so I many. It's like the boys. Think of the movie of Mulan, right? Okay, I know this is like a weird comparison. Great movie. But if <laughs> great, it's wonderful. Great movie. But if Mulan had went there proud as a woman, like oh. I'm Mulan, like I'm gonna fight for you guys. No, the whole point was she was scared because she was a woman, she had to pretend to be a boy. So these models would have to fit the mold because she joined the army. There was no women allowed. Do you see the comparison? <laughs> I think you're stretching on that. <laughs> it's, oh. it's like the it's Caitlyn Jenner hero she thing. She hid that she was a woman because she knew she wasn't allowed there. Nowadays, she would just be like, I'm Mulan, I'm fighting for my dad, and I'm a girl. Like, do you see what I'm saying? I think, bottom line, transgender women should be allowed to walk the runway. But what about because the plus size model? I, I agree with Marie on the plus size model thing. They don't make plus size exactly. clothing, that so I, they shouldn't have it in the fashion. That, okay, yes, you changed my mind in the sense of, yes, plus size maybe shouldn't be able to. It's not their brand, but I think a trans woman should be can able to Can you agree walk with us on that? that the runway. only thing I can agree with is I just think that it is for the male audiences, and I agree that it's shielding them, but also, like, if I had, I don't but know. But there's still a woman at the end of the day. I right mean, not now, necessarily. But like, they were born a man. That's not what we're arguing. And, but that just comes down to. I'm 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 a man. I'm I'm a man. Sorry, but my man was born a woman. I'm, I'm a man. 
I'm I just sorry, found out but would be very that upset. whole stage is about being the gorgeous human and looking perfect in no, a bikini. No, it's not. Who, what, so what is it about? It's about being a sexy female. Exactly. And feeling no, sexy. No, you said female. It's, yes, it exactly. was Before this conversation, it was never about that. No, I just it was told about you being about. the sexiest human no, in that big I'm a man, yes. all right? Uh, and I don't want a man so walking that one I'm okay sometimes. What the <laughs> person was born with, was born in, if they it, look amazing walking down that runway, why does it matter? I, I just think that people are arguing just, this is, I don't even think this is a real topic in my eyes. I really think this is the most pointless thing people could talk about. I really do. That's my honest opinion. I think people just like to move their mouths most of the time. They just love to hear are themselves talk. you trying talk. to say something? I'm, right the, I'm telling you the truth. That's what people are doing. They... They, people just love to say things. They you love to said complain. that if they were to include transgender models in their Victoria's Secret fashion show, it wouldn't bother you. I, yeah, I wouldn't care, but I'm, I'm saying... That is I'm all saying, I wanted to I don't know. Care. But, but that you is know why this is... Agree but I think they have, I think they have the freedom to they not have, have the them. Of course they do. But I don't think it's I believe it would be a nice gesture for them. No, I don't think it's... But they don't owe anybody the gesture. I don't think, yeah. Of course. Yeah, so like they can just continue doing what they're doing because they sell mad fucking lingerie and bras. I'm all for that. Yeah, but you know, it's like, I'm sure there are stores that are for marketed for transgender people and I'm gonna go complain that I feel excluded from them. You know what I mean? Like there's probably fashion shows that aren't as the problem is is that Victoria's Secret fashion show is so publicized. There's probably fashion shows that are exclusively for transgender people, you know what I mean? That don't get yeah. enough airtime. I mean, not to be like make your own. Like stop like why do everyone have to like jump on everyone else's shoulders? Like, like, like start your own RuPaul's fashion drag show. Race. I am a I am not a drag queen, but I wanna go. Exactly. People would be like, Oh you don't really fit the cat. Oh, but it's but it's You can't uh, compare that. Yes you, yes, can. you can. Are you can. kidding They're me? The same thing. You're not like, a drag I want a Gucci queen. bag, but they don't have clearance and you're not right a woman. now and I want like, that. that's that's what it is. It's like there's so many but situations they are women. where that's yes, the but thing. they're not biologically uh their bodies aren't women. Drag has different No, I know, but I'm saying I've never been a drag queen, but I feel excluded, so I want to go on that exactly. show right it's now, and I'm going to talk to the executive and find out what their little press conference has to say about why I can't so go. So yours wouldn't work because it's the minority that gets to be the loud no, but voice. I'm saying, and you're the majority saying that. Because people would say that, but then the minority would be like, no, but that you know doesn't really make sense. you the first thing about drag? What? No, of course not. But do, but <laughs> it's about being a drag queen I know, and but, competing but in a competition. I'm saying, but I just want to make That's some for noise, reality so I'm going to go complain. This isn't reality. They have a behind the scenes. I'm getting dressed. It's all reality TV. I'm also going to like protest a fake at show. Lee Bryant that they don't have my size because I'm too skinny and they they want me to be plus size. Right. I'm going to complain to my straight boyfriend that I wish he was born a girl. I'm just saying you can make, pick anything. Why don't I complain to Victoria's Secret that I can't wear anything that they have? You totally should. No, I shouldn't because I'm not an <laughs> asshole. They have male cologne. <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> <laughs> That's my saying, sure. guys. <laughs> All right, guys, what's our final decision? How do we feel? Start it off, Maria. Me? Yeah. They can continue doing what they're doing. They're not excluding anybody. They're selling to their market. They're advertising a show for their market. It's great. <laughs> Murray? Uh, I think, yeah, I don't think they should fold. I don't think they're doing anything wrong. They had it. They didn't say anything wrong. They just said we're not putting them in our vid in our runway. They didn't say don't walk into our stores, don't buy our products. They didn't say that. They're just saying for the, the show we're putting on, this is a, the audience we're appealing to. This is what we want to put on the floor. I'm gonna go and I have to agree with the Merg on this one. <laughs> I changed it. If that's what the executives want to do, all power to you. If I were the executive, I would have let them walk. That's all I'm saying. What about you? The final voice of reason <laughs> over here. Um, I would have, if I were the executive at Victoria's Secret, I would personally have all people walking on my runway. Can you insist Big, the short. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would really have everyone walk on my runway. I think, you know, every body deserves to feel beautiful in that light. And if you want to walk down my runway being trans, a biological woman, a man, plus size, walk down my runway, and I will conform to your body, have you wear my clothing. But can I ask you something? Why can't they just make a fashion show then called, like, Beautiful Female? Or Beautiful show. Girls? Or Girl... Beautiful the word people. Is still in it. Yes. <laughs> beautiful people walking in lingerie, not associated with Victoria's Secret that only sells to the skinny. Because people like to be a part of something. Uh, well, the thing is, what if Victoria's Secret is she was born a man? That's her secret. That yeah, is her secret. <laughs> <laughs>